Now that you're familiar with the basic layout of QGIS Browser, let's explore some geospatial data in more detail. I'll select the Hawaii County shapefile by clicking on it, and the Metadata tab is automatically selected, and we're presented with data about our data set. I can see that the storage type is an Esri shapefile, the geometry type is polygon, it has nine features, and there are some other things like the spatial reference system as well. Clicking on the Preview tab gives a preview of this layer's geometry. Now I'll click on the Attributes tab. This shows the other piece of the data model, the attributes. Each row corresponds to one polygon. The columns are things we know about the polygons, such as island name. Now let's preview the raster data set. I'll select Oahu Landsat and move to the Preview tab. This is a true color Landsat satellite image of the island of Oahu. Now that we've previewed vector and raster data, let's take a look at the shapefile vector file format in a little more detail. I'll select our Lab 2 data folder, and I will expand this first column. When we select a folder in QGIS Browser, the Param tab is all that's available and opens by default. Now the display window is showing what you'd see in Windows Explorer. In other words, you're seeing all the files. Let's focus on this layer Hawaii counties. If we look in the file tree, we notice that this is represented as a single GIS layer, hawaiicounties.shape, whereas the display window shows seven different files named Hawaii counties. These are all the component files of this particular shapefile. The file tree simplifies the view of your data, showing you only the .shp file, or in other words, the data as a GIS layer. In task three, you'll be introduced to QGIS Desktop, You'll learn the basic layout and how to use it to view both vector and raster data.